dirty. Better turn it off. Oh, there was loads of flames coming out of it a second ago. My sandwich ruined. That's the end of this toaster. God damn it, it's not even hot. I have to do that on the stove. A bit of arcing and whatnot in there. Might try that later on. Hey there, Boot Sewin here. This is my Murphy Richards toasted sandwich maker. I've had it for, well, it's been in the family, let's say, for 20 years. I've had it for the last 10 of those. It's a 44600 made in Ireland. It's, it's easily 20 years old. Um, looking for a date code, anything that would help me. It's got 1 slash 21 441 slash 0. I don't know if that's a year. I don't know if we'll see anything inside that gives me a year. It's got two triangular screws there. Recently, it went on fire. It had smoke coming out of the back and then it was licking flames out the back as well. And I got a bit of footage of that. I'll put it in here. A while back, in the last year, the clip thing has broken on. So I've been using it with a mortar and pestle on top to weight it down. I think what's happened is the cord between the bottom and the top over time has just burnt out and then started arcing. Didn't trip the switch immediately, but went on to trip it later. I'm wondering, I was told not to fix it. I was told that enough was had of it at home. It's not my attitude at all. I was told not to fix it. Oops my tripod inside somewhere so it's grim but that's how these things are I remember AVE posted a thing about one of these oh years ago building site friend his point was that there's a thermal cutout inside yeah look there's your problem <laughs> the cables have just come apart from the ones beneath now, I suspect it's just a rewiring job so there's the top independent of the bottom this element still works I've been running this on days when the sun's been out and the solar panels will power this and the rest of the house, which I think is kind of neat. Let's just try and... It doesn't want to come apart with one hand. I think it might be screwed in from below. Might need to get those fancy helicopter screws out. Yeah, they design them like that on purpose, so you need to get a set of bits. Maybe these ones. They've got four legs, not... Oh, they do. They have three legs. Okay. They're in there pretty good. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. I've got a better set, but the one in front of you. I've got a nice Brutool set of these security bits that's featured in other videos, but the set in front of you is usually the best one to try. That cord has been hanging out of there like that for a long time. You can see it's got yellow grease on the bottom. Oh dear, look at that sticky old, greasy old stickiness. Right, so that's just a three-way connector and it's almost like there should be something in there as a restrainer for the cables that isn't there. That's not stopping me from getting it out, I think. Now this one had two screws and then it should have two more in here. There's no... Nothing there, so they look, it looks like it should just lift and pull back. There's a lot of dust coming out of it now. It was just welded up with toasty goodness. Here's the wiring situation. Yeah, that wiring has seen, seen better days. So is this the autopsy video? And then if I'm so inclined, we'll make a better video for putting it back together. So that's, that's what's gone on fire there, that fluff. And so this comes in from above, does it? That's my neutral there. Earth is earthed to the chassis. Well, that's all down to nothing. There's your thermal fuse in there. That looks, it look, actually it has a thermostat on it. It doesn't have a thermo, thermal fuse. 
because that works clicks on and off and there's a little red indicator light in here off these two cables it's all quite sensible really so i've got three wires and earth which seems to be in the best condition and i don't think it matters really then which way the live and the neutral are so they will be rubberized cables and they use them inside things like this heater up here so I need to put this in a box and wait for a heater like that to come along to get that kind of rubberized heat proof uh -huh, to a point heat proof cable and it also needs a bit of this I think that's rubber coated fiber sleeving and it just roots in through there in a zigzag it would make sense to clean it <laughs> because it's gross what do you think? Is this one? I've been, I've been instructed not to fix it because it's not well liked around the home anymore. Uh, but I really do like it. I think it's pretty good um, because it makes sandwiches and that's all it's, all it's been asked to do. Earth. Live and neutral. That's all that's happened. They've just, over 20 years, they've just died. So neutral comes in, probably goes to the far side and then back over to this side, like that. Neutral coming in, going to one of these, this one going to this, this element, that element coming around, making a connection there. It's really simple. Get all that goo off with a degreaser or something like that. It's got a brand name there, ACE, I think, upside down. It looks like ACF or ACE. It's got a little curly thing on the logo. It's made. Possibly thousands of sandwiches. What I could do as well is reverse the elements top for bottom. Could I? No, the thermal fuse is on one of them. It could be reversed, the reversible elements. But that's just kind of being silly. This this side here gets the cheese residue. It's a bit of carbony. There's a bit of cheese. I wonder what it tastes like. It's only yesterday. The day before. Mm, delicious I like I like that kind of old cheese yeah but to see the plastic here well that's all sticky the plastic here over time has gone brittle cracked but it's not the end of the world I think I need to go rooting through my supplies I might have some of that cable hidden somewhere yeah Let's have a look. So, let's have a look around while we're still playing it fast and loose. There's the thing up there, it's had a hot bath. Here's my boxes of bits, mostly micro switches in there, but some wires and other switches and bits. Crimp connectors and other electrical connectors and then some bits of wire and whatnot down there. So, I think, So I think we'll be able to make something of this, you know. I think we'll be all right here. I think I have enough little bits over here to make something of it. What I realized was after I'd done everything else was that I hadn't washed the little plastic thing here. So I'm gonna see if I can just do that by hand. Um, that's the neon there. I presume it's a neon. The indicator that's the prism for the indicator it's all it's all um, the grease that comes off butter <laughs> whenever you're making toasted sandwiches so it's it's just sticky like you see it there it's like it's kind of like honey it's grease it's like grease so just wipe it off on my rag <laughs> in some ways it's gross in other ways it heats up every time you cook this is that restrainer thing, cable restraint thing. And I suspect the bottom of it's been full of full of oil. It's not, I was thinking this recently, um, there's a channel called The Post Apocalyptic Inventor that I've followed for a long time. Uh, back when I was trying to figure out how washing machine motors worked, he was posting videos promising to demonstrate how to 
how to make a speed controller for him and ultimately you know in what must be set six or seven years he never really did it he did something approximating it but not not simple and he went on to do welders and other things and that's his his choice and that's that's life you know you can't you can't follow every rabbit hole to the bottom is that, is that a is that an old wise saying don't know post-apocalyptic inventor more recently has been looking at things from uh, eastern germany ddr deutsches demokratisches republic uh, stuff before 1989 made on the eastern side of germany when it was under independent communist soviet stewardship i don't know what you'd call it rule is one word for it i on the other hand was thinking i have quite a few things especially kitchen appliances that were made in ireland some of them i found or bought in england uh, but ireland made a lot of things morphe richards krups uh, things like that weighing scales I have two weighing scales that were made in ireland one that i got over in england one that i think may have been in the house for nearly 40 years um there you go. There's probably a series in it somewhere. What do you think? So, this is the bottom. It's cleaner than before. You'll have to use your memory to rewind. I took it apart. Took this bit apart. This bit goes back on here. We start from the bottom up, but we'll get there in the end. And that's that. It's back on. The table's a bit messy, but uh, I think I think I'll dust it onto the floor. How about that? That's lots of wood shavings from other projects that were on the go. I was working with my young colleague trying to build a helicopter. With, you know, mixed results, helicopters being what they are. So, this thing, one side, that's the grubbier side, so that was the bottom, and that was the one with the, oh, was it the top? No, the one that was more grubby was the bottom, so the heat trigger goes on the bottom. So it went in there. So then, we're like this. Okay. Power cable comes in through the bottom here. I'm guessing does it come through those holes? Oh dear. It doesn't because those connectors have to go back above, but uh, yeah, we'll work it out. Now that's this indicator goes in the bottom as well. In here, so it goes in through the hole and then it's restrained, it just snaps in there. Looks about right. Okay. Now, I've lost my neon. Where did you go? There you are. Okay. I think the neon just sits in, in here. I guess I'm actually going to do that first. And then, yeah, the neon sits. It's inside in that red tube. Okay. And I've lost that cable. I'll put that back in again. Like that. <clears throat> Could almost come back to that later. Right. I think I've got this upside down, you know. I guess when I'm putting it back together, I have to do it that way. So. Which way were we? Go into the element. here and then this one went through here sorry about the banging that'll make the noise it's going to make on the screen on the radio on the youtube so that goes to there and that will join up with brown if i recall now but on this side this one is a dud so I have a few options. I could put heat shrink over it. 
splice it and put heat shrink over it. That might be an idea for all of them. And so the ones on this side, there was just two. Where's the other one gone? Here it is. So I found that I had these kinds of ones here. And they might do. Had a couple, a couple of these. And if I can get a bit of sleeving to go over them, that would probably do it. So let's pop this out. Will that even come out of there now? It'll come, yeah, it should do. I don't want those plastic ends on. So I'm just putting that spade connector in there, or putting the screwdriver in into that spade connector and pushing up. There's a little tab in the plastic in the center, pushing that up. Now we have to get some kind of sleeving onto that, and I don't have a great selection of it. I have some over here, but I don't think that'll go in there, which is unfortunate. I have one spade connector with rubber ends. Actually, if I was to nip that in half, put new connectors on, that might get me out because I need to put one of these connectors onto this end of something, uh, a little connector, and I've only got one of those, so it's going to have to be right. So let's cut this in half. If the cables are too long, I don't think it'll matter. Cut that in half, slide that off, trim this a bit, slide it back on, get my trusty uh, thingy for stri stripping the cables. Put this crimp on here. Is that correct? Neutral to here. Then live back to this one. Yeah, try that. Come on, toasty deal. Doesn't help him working with these gloves, but for some reason I've put them on now, so I have to live with my decisions. It's a tough one to squeeze this. It's not on right, and give it a pinch like this. Give it one more, in fact. Oh, a little bit too far there. <laughs> it's on good and tight now. So that's one, and I'm hoping I can get two of them through this universally. Yeah, I'll get them through. Okay, so the other side, the fact that they're blue just is what it is. They've got these silicone ends on them, which is kind of neat. I'm going to have to join this to this guy here. Now, these all had angled connectors before, which is not what I want. But that's just life. I haven't got any of those. So we'll have to figure something out for that, will we? I guess the cables are just going to be bent on the ends. Have I got a big one somewhere? I don't have any that don't have the plastic bits on them. I wonder should I cut them off or will I just not bother? Okay, so that one's this one. And this one's here. That's well bonded in there. Could I Could I free it up? I'm going to have to give up on keeping clean hands today. I think it was more for just doing that sticky stuff at the start. Right. It should be possible to break in here. And just replace this one. There we go. That's that wire out. is really not the intention here that these would ever be reusable. 
Oops. Need something pointier than that. So I've got a trim hook and an engineer's scribe. I think actually one wire is on one side and one's on the other side. So if I could break it in at all, I might be able to get there. And just do one side. It's hooked on both sides. It's not to say that I need to hook the next one on both sides though, is it? So when does a repair, when is a repair a bodge and when is a bodge a repair? Is a bodge always a repair? Where's that cable? Here. Twisted that connector somewhat. You can't see, maybe you can, my facial expressions. I would imagine they're hilarious. I think I've got a frown stuck on my head. Not bad, you know. It's not gonna get any better. Actually, that's, that's, I'm pretty pleased with that now. So, that one goes on here. Maybe it goes on the other way around for safety. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll go on and hold. That'll do. They're all insulated. These are heat, heat insulated as well. So these two go on like this. Like this. I took a photo of it before, but I'm not inclined to check back. Now I need to figure out this earthing this earthing arrangement. The thing about earth cables is they don't really need to be protected, you know? <laughs> because if they touch it, that's that's fine. The whole, they want to touch it. So I'm wondering if I could just get a straight crimp connector on there. little one like this maybe put this little bit of sleeving over it just to pretend that I'm doing something proactive for the insulation do one like this with a bit of blue on it that seems pointless as well I'll just put the metal one on it and uh, go with it the fact that the thing is the insulation on that's rotten is kind of irrelevant For the earth side, that that is, it's folded over. Push it in. Let's crimp this side first. And crimp without something a bit more. Oh, it has crimped. Okay. I wonder what they're made out of, brass, <clears throat> nickel plated brass or something like that. So I'm trying to put on loads of pressure with the pliers while equally not wrecking it.
If you're a appliance repair individual and you think this guy's lethal, tell me about it in the comments. Okay. Um, I think that's that then. So I think this one goes back on here. Earth. This one goes through to here. The top side one is a lot cleaner than the bottom side one. So, these all have to bunch together in here. Have to press those down a bit. They all have to bunch together in this little conduit space. Interlock then with this. That one to get out of the way for the time being. Probably an easier way of doing this if I only knew what it was. Get out of here, stuff. Set it all there. Hook it together properly. Put that in like that. Put this one in on top. The earth in there too. Then when I go to fold it up, it grabs them. So they're correct then oh dear me what am i doing next then i have to join these cables onto here green to earth this one's my neutral and the original live to red now i can see a damaged cable eh, the cable will be all right push that in there Go on, get out of here. Then this has to open a bit and that hooks in there. Those lower platens. All being well, that should just squeeze squeeze tightly so like that. I gotta get those manky old screws that we were look at that are grim. There's countersunk ones and there's <laughs> like, oh dear. Yeah, I have to clean them somehow. Where's my rag? Have to clean them a bit. It's all sticky. <laughs> Sawdust stuck on. Looks like I picked them out of a fire. withdrawing them. That ought to do it for that one. I'll do it with all of them, I guess. Wrap them up. It's not bad. I've only got three of the other ones. I think one of the sockets died where the screw gets screwed into. even silver underneath all the crud. I've got another countersunk one here. It's not really clean, is it? The 
question at the end of it is, will it trip the fuse? Trip the uh, residual current device? There's no reason why it should. And if it does, so much the better, because I'll quit, maybe. Uh, these, these ones weren't too bad. They were just a bit dusty. They won't. They need the, heli they need the helicopter one. The helicopter triangle, anyways. Right. Two countersink ones to the rear. Countersink, countersunk. Let's check how to pinch those cables. Hmm, can't see if I have or not. Yeah, they're gonna fail eventually. Like, you know, 20, could be 25 years this thing is in age. Right, it's those two in, and the lid. I'm on the home straight now. The lid was loose anyway. So I think one of these was dead. That one looks a little burst. So I'm trying not to like rattle them. I wouldn't want to use an impact driver. I wonder was there another rubber seal, but I think it's the one that's inside, so I don't see it on my bench. So, I wonder just was there a rubber seal in there, but I can't see it on the floor or anywhere. So then, to this restraint thing. Oh dear. Hmm, that's not quite right. Those connectors are meant to be up with me up here. Oh, nuts. Where's that leave me? Better loosen this gun. It's a bit, bit of a pickle. Take those ones out again. This thing was meant to have the connectors in it. Oh dear, come on now. What are you stuck on? Stuck on something. I think I, think I didn't make my neutral one long enough. I think it might just be okay if I ignore that. And somehow bludgeon this thing shut. What do you think? No, they can't. They'll be touching one another. That's not good. Oh dear, I've used my one thing, haven't I? Yikes. Let's slide that down. Have a look at what the problem is. So, is the live long enough? They're all the same length, actually, so it shouldn't be an issue. So what are you fussing about? Yeah, okay. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm fussed about there. Let's get them. It's all a bit tight here, actually. Now, let's so lift, lift this open. Flip this plate in. Encourage these guys to come out without separating. But for some reason, the neutral is sticky. I think they're all in a bit of a tangle. Is that something to do with it? Earth there. Live there. Come on, live. What are you fussing about? Live there. Earth there. Now neutral. Could be that it's got a big sheath on it, you see. Could be that it's just not long enough. I think if I take it apart and root it a bit better, it'll give me precious millimetres. So I just push it in under there. Do the trick. Maybe let's see. Just doesn't want to 
I don't know why. It feels all right up until the last little, little bit. See, they've got plenty of space. This one doesn't. Yeah, it's just not... I wonder does it have... Ah, oh, yeah, just pull it through, hey? That'll do. It's going to come back to bite me in a moment, is it? So we're now at the fed up with it, I think we're done phase. Oh, come on, neutral. What is your beef? Yeah, just push that in there too. There we go. Screwdriver. Make it fit, come on. Now this thing shouldn't be like that, really. Should be, I think, like this somehow. But equally that doesn't feel right, but that's the way it is. Where's that plastic thing gone? Like this. Clips in like that. I'm just gonna bash it in like that. I think that will do. We could put that restraint anyways, and we will see if we could use this device to make a toasted sandwich. What do you think? It's night time now, so I'm going to have to turn off the camera if the lights pop. I've been out here 29 minutes according to this telephone. What do you think? Will she chooch? Give me a power cord. Got a live power cord. Uh, it's got a little switch thing, which is kind of handy. So I can do it like that. So far. The neon is on. Ha! <laughs> That's class. I didn't put the screws back in. We better do that before it gets hot. What do you think? Just turn it off there briefly. Which one was it? Bottom. Yeah, there's heat in that. There's heat in that. We'll put it back in. I should just switch it on while I'm doing it, hey? See if I get electrocuted. We're still we're still alive. Okay. There's a bit of something. Towel toweling stuck in there. Okay. That's getting hot. That's getting hot. It's a success. The little toasty maker that's been on fire lives to fight another day and toast another toasty. There's the neon flickering. It doesn't flicker to the naked eye, just to the camera. Morphe Richards, model 44600. Completely deformed. It's hot. I'm going to quit it now because... I'm just gonna have to wait for it to cool down again. What a success! Finally, I've repaired something that I use. <laughs> oh, I find so much tat on the street, and I'd say I've scrapped out a load of toasty makers that work that I didn't want. I'm quite proud of this now. It's gonna go in and fight another day. Excellent. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. Oh, and just by the by, in case you're watching, some people throw these screws away. I don't care. I'll put them back in. Good luck. <laughs>